I'm going to do a review of this match that I played offline yesterday. Uh, it's a pretty good one. End up winning. Get 12 kills. Uh, do some cool stuff. Just want to use this opportunity to look around and see what I missed. I always like to look at like the patterns of players, like how many players are jumping and players that were around me that I missed and things like that. Um, kind of what my game sense is telling me to do and why I did what I did. Um, but here we go. And I'm going to drink my coffee. I hope the uh, replay is fixed as far as looking down the sights goes. They're having some trouble like showing snipes in a few weeks. That's why I haven't made any of I start off with a sniper. This is such a tough position to be in. It's important to check your side though, like, I know this guy's like obviously an immediate threat, but I barely get him, hit him right in the leg. Then I hear this behind me. And I take a quick snipe, I miss it, but still it's good to go for the opportunity. You have no idea who anyone is. If you have the chance at an easy kill, you take it, like, for all I know, Salim Ben Ada is Tifu's other account, you know? And that's the guy that's going to keep me from winning the game. This is actually dumb, what I'm doing right here, because the window is to my right and someone could shoot me through the window. So I shouldn't have set up right there, I should have done it and let them work into the spot. So I have a P90 and a sniper, both purple. A good bit of mats too, comparably in the beginning of the game. Not as good of a shot. That's close. And then I hit that shot. When he's standing still, no chance. When he's running, got it. So there's no one left, you can, see, you can see on the map, so I'm going to speed it up. What I generally do when I go um, Valhalla or Viking Village, whatever you want to call it, I love this place because there's so many rifts. There's rifts on every single side of the map, or of the island, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so your transitions are really nice. The better the shotgun you have, the better your transition is generally the way to look at it. Like if you have a double barrel, the Swanton bomb is just so good. Like you can land on top of someone uh, with a double barrel and just destroy them. And see, I saw people over there, and so I saw people in here, so this is what I'm looking for. So I'm looking for wherever this guy is. Usually what I'm looking for, and I think, yeah, I see it right there, is I see something breaking. Um, even if he's breaking, like, a cabinet on the inside of the house. I'm gonna get him. So people have wisened up to the, uh, like, launching onto someone. So, uh, you can't just, like, fly straight in and you're gonna get lasered. You gotta make sure you come around and do uh, a little rope a dope. So I go right back to the rifts. There's not really anywhere else to transition to, like on foot. Like the closest transition point would be like the soccer field, but still this would be closer. So now I kind of float over top of Greasy, see if there's anyone to bomb. If there's not. I'd usually like transition to Shifty because I don't have the distance. And what I'm looking for when I'm like flying like this is obviously people, but I'm looking for any, like any building. I'm looking at the direction the building's facing. And if no one knows that, in a launch pad in a low gravity zone is like ridiculous. I miss this guy right here. I didn't see him. It's kind of neat being able to see people that far away though. 
I always get uh, people coming to my chat and yelling at me for their. Oh, man. You saw that right at the last second. And yelling at me for uh, third partying. But it's it's honestly what I do the entire time. If I hear two people shooting, I'm gonna third party them every single time, and you should too. There's no reason not to. Ooh, that was pretty good. Speed her up again. Collect her somewhere. Ah, uh, that's what I get. I took the slave right out in the middle. Like 50 meter. Obviously, my setup. I have a slurp going though, so every second that goes by is like better for me. So I'm just passively healing by standing still. I have like really, really low mats, so I have trouble with like anything. And then the third third party. This is like a little frightening because I'm so low in health, but I remember where everyone's loot is, and so I just find the band-aids. I have a launch pad and a bouncer so I can get out of there pretty easily. probably the scariest part of the game, I think. I think that was like my closest dying situation. I think I clean this up pretty handedly. I feel like Port of Fortresses make it so you have so much to look at. Like there's just always like that thread. So I saw a guy over there, that guy I took a few shots at, but I saw these two guys fighting. And so I want to push towards them because I know just from what I heard how many shots went off, there's a good chance this guy's low. And if you look at his health, he's super low. And I think I like pop him one time. Yeah. Poor guy. Dude has a scope to AR. Drop my band-aids for GL. I don't have my sniper anymore. Just remember I dropped it for band-aids. There's just two people so close. I just take my time here because I'm in the circle. I just want to make sure no one's walking up behind me or anything. I didn't launch over to him. I think he launches to me, yeah.
guy kind of seemed like he couldn't handle getting third party like spring. I need to watch my back. There's someone behind me too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This is like a pain. They're both just like pinching me. Jeez, that edit delay. I gotta. For everyone who's watching, there's a new thing you can do under additional commands in your Epic Games launcher. You can turn land settings on. If you turn land settings on, your edit delay is like not existent. It's something I need to do today for sure. What if I built a floor above my head even though I was looking straight down? This guy made a mistake. He he knew how much damage he did to me. He should have just kept pushing. He saw my shield break too. I guess he's still working on building. I think this is my health total for the rest of the game. It's 50 52. up into that tree. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get didn't die. <laughs> Look at that guy in the bush right there. It's hilarious, he's so close. Letting grenade launchers like fly over his head. I don't know what this girl's doing. It takes like the longest way around to get towards the circle. She has a thermal and a semi-automatic sniper. And so instead, try to get a little closer, because I don't have too many more grenades. I had full, but still. I noticed the direction of the circle, and it was going to be on top of this building, and so obvious move, just fly right on top of the building when it starts. So, I know this guy is horrendous just because I can see that he built like two walls instead of building like a whole structure. So my entire focus for this is going to be on the dude on the right. 
Like, I don't care what the dude on the left's doing as long as he's not shooting at me. And, like, eventually you're gonna see, like, he just starts, like, laying in grenades at the guy. So now it's a one-on-one -on -one against someone I know is a lot worse than me. And I have advantage as far as the circle goes. So just take careful shots. Pay attention to the storm. Bounce back. And I just wanna... I wanted to make sure I knew exactly where he was the whole time. And so that was a pretty... scary move. Right here I'm doing floors and cones, by the way. So it's not quite as easy for him to knock me down. And that's it. It's a whole ball game. It's a pretty good one. Twelve kills. Alright. Not bad. I wanna see again, how long was that guy hiding in that bush? guy gets in there early. All this stuff is going on and he decides to get in this bush. That's crazy. And he already has a kill too so he's not doing a no kill challenge. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, well, if you guys like the video, subscribe, follow me on Twitch.